Let's head to China. Zhao King screamed the minion of the China at the end of the Bronze Age, but rival dukes have grown too powerful to contain. Who has the strength to found a new dynasty between the Yellow River and the Yangtze? We will start out as the Industrious Song. New cities don't cost more than the previous one, so we will be spamming cities all over the place, gleefully. Growing cities cost 20% less, so we will be growing cities to enormous proportions. Flag tax cost two more signs, so we might as well refuse to get them. Well, we will get some of them, presumably, annoyingly enough. And food technologies are more expensive, which is incredibly annoying since you want that food, you want to be able to expand easily. But what can you do? Great emperors once ruled from the Yellow River. The hardworking song have not forgotten. We are playing on Scholar and here are the victory conditions. Colossus Pyramids Mausoleum at the very top capture five cities, a whopping total of five cities. That's quite a few. Then there's the city population. We will have an easy time reaching this. So that's the three crowns that are basically free. And of course the Colossus. These are the easiest things to get most of the time. Getting nine armies of fleets is going to take a while, but it's almost inevitably eventually going to happen. And then of course you just have to have the Hanging Garden, so wealth at 300. Trivial to accomplish, or almost trivial. The Lighthouse will not be acquired because there are so many empires. And of course pumping power to 15 is quite difficult. Capturing cities? Capturing a whopping total of five cities is also going to prove difficult unless of course I provide my opponents with so many cities for them to capture that they have such an easy time. All right, did they actually manage to capture a whopping total of five cities from me somehow and win that way? I would love to dig all the way to the mountains, but that's going to be mighty difficult. I could head southward, but the two empires over there. And again, as far as the mountains are concerned, there's quite a lot of competition as well. Yeah, three factions to the east, two factions to the south, two factions... Sorry, this is the west. Three factions to the west, two factions to the south, two factions to the east, and two factions to the north. Well, oh well, shall I go? I could just take the middle. That seems to be the most reasonable of choices. Okay, what do I have to flag? Mostly grasslands, overwhelmingly grasslands. There are a couple of river tiles over here, but I think I should focus on grassland tiles. So let's get basically all the grassland flag tags as exorbitantly, unfortunately expensive as they are, and begin to flag grassland tiles. Two, two, two. We could compete for those. Will I win this competition? Now we have the same amount of power over there. Should I even bother with river tiles? River tiles are precious. They give so much food, so presumably I should. And actually, let's start by flagging out the grass and tiles here. This will be trivial to flag. It's within my grasp, after all. If I do not worry about this little river tile, I can go for the plains here and the grasslands there capturing plenty of tiles in a single turn. Although, of course, I will not be going for anything that might become contested, which again might be perceived as a virtue, because by not doing that, I am not uh, losing that contest either. So let's flag all of these tiles. That's two, four, six, seven tiles in a single turn. That is reasonably uh, respectable. I need to remember that I play as the song here, and I ought to try and keep tabs on what the other factions are. Here's the Qi, the Zhou are over here, the Wu over there, the Chu to the southwest, and the Jin over here to the west. So that's Jin and that's Qi, right? Jin and Qi. Two flags, a whopping two flags. Okay, five flags. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And I've placed seven. Get a free planes flag. That's great. It will not even be contested. Oh, I'll build a city on Grasslands for a Grassland Yield tech. I don't think that's going to happen. 
Well, if I ever build a city, it's probably going to be on grassland. So no, I'm fairly confident it is going to happen. Building cities doesn't cost more for my faction, so building a city is going to be ridiculously easy, and an additional grassland yield tech would be highly beneficial to me. Say, more food out of every single grassland tile. That would help me expand immensely. Is that crazy? Uh, let's just see. How much do I need? Oh dear. A whopping total of 25 in order to be able to plop that little city down. Not half bad. Okay. So let's plan for next turn so that I am left with 25. First of all, let's take this river tile. And that's basically... No, 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 this I'm going to waste. So I could possibly flag something for three. Will that be enough? No, no. So I can basically just flag this little river tile and refuse to flag other things for the dubious benefit of getting a yield tech immediately, you know, next to immediately, and for an easier time of flagging other things in the future because I'll be flagging around the city, so it'll be cheaper. I think that might be the way to go, despite everything, instead of taking the single free flag and just flagging all around. Fine, fine, I'll take this gamble. I'll risk it. I'll go for it. Let's take the river tile and just end the turn. I could have gotten cheaper river tile flags, but um, of course that's questionable as well. Let's stockpile science instead, although I'll be losing some of it. However, neither of these flag tags is particularly useful to me. Not quite. And uh, I can't quite get any other tags. Power tags, yield tags, you name it. Well, those are the only options. Yield tags, power tags, and flag tags. Those are the only tags that exist in the game. Two. Six. Three, four, and three again. Okay, rope. All itinerant hurdles. I don't think I'll need those flag tags, and I don't think I'll be able to get them. There are too few river tiles, which leaves me with the itinerant hurdles. Hurdle indeed. Do I want to break through to the north, or do I want to conquer everything over here in the middle? That is indeed an astonishingly good question, because I feel like flagging to the south, it intuitively feels wise to get more of the grassland tiles. However, if I could just dig into the mountains, the riches, the wealth, they would be so overwhelming. But then again, I will benefit from gra grassland tiles immensely because of this opportunity. So both really. Sound like the way to go. Fine, let's try to head north. Let's build a city over here and just desperately head north. Grassland tech. What sort of tech do I want? More food or more wealth? More food, please. Every single passing turn. I could also get more power in grasslands to prevent my opponents from outflagging me, winning in contests. Let's, uh, if I get power in grasslands, this will, I, I actually have power over here because of the city, obviously. So there's no point in getting a power attack over there. And I might as well flag this instead of heading directly north. Because if, if this gets contested, then I win the contest. That's a waste for the, the djinn. And if this doesn't get contested, then hey, I get to expand my borders closer to my opponents. Which, of course, is highly beneficial. All right. I now should have a really easy time flagging to the north. I will have the food to flag to the south, especially since my food yields have been so significantly increased. Oh, no. I picked the internal hurdles and I did not redeem that. Oh, that was such a huge mistake. I could replay that. I could hypothetically load the previous turn. I think I have autosaves on. I might not. Never mind. I will not do that anyway. Flag tech can be acquired for flagging five things all at once, or I could get all forest flag text for flagging forest tiles. Let's get the bronze axes, I guess. Let's get all those flag text. Oh, and by the way, let's get uh, 
River Yield takes just three points of knowledge every passing turn. That's not a lot. That's a pitifully small amount. Okay, in that case, I might as well get uh, Power in Grasslands to break the ties to win those contests. Let's flag over here. Try to get as many of those grassland tiles as humanly possible. They are absolutely precious to me. I will lose this contest if I even bother trying, so perhaps I should not bother. I will also lose this contest and that one. So I could go for the forest, that's probably the best option I have. I just want to contest that forest, although I don't have any power though. Let's go for this silly little forest and that'll be the end of it. Oh no, the... I can't proc it in with herders, hold on. Let's do this all over again. Which is the most expensive grassland flag? This one. It costs fall. Let's proc it right here, right now. Then go for these. All of those. Uh, get power in grasslands, obviously. Can't quite get both of these, unfortunately. But I can take this. There's no power there for my competition. And I surround this from three sides. This guy only from two. So I might as well break the tie. Unless power in the rivers is acquired. Let's see how this plays out. I am flagging very aggressively and I'm trying to break through to the north to get access to these magnificent hills and all the wealth they hide. Well, they don't necessarily hide it. It can be extracted from them. A sea flag, really, for this little thing. That's patently ludicrous. Ah, yes, the holy city. Will I actually ever get that? Well, I might as well... Try one, two, three. What fall five? That's not gonna happen. That's next to the border. So I'd have to go far, far to the northwest. Is the sea flag worth it? Is it worth more? I might as well proc the holy city at some point. The sea flag is so utterly useless because you get no yields off of them by default. You would have to buy them. And for a single tile, that's just not worth it. I could get a power tech. Can't really get yield techs at this juncture, unfortunately. I could also start flagging hills. It's not going to work particularly well yet, but I could try. I do have that grassland power tech, which is helping immensely. Let's flag this, this, that, here and there, and everywhere. Hmm. I'm tempted to get power in... I can't get power in hills because I don't have a single hill. Fine. Let's flag this hill as the single hill that I'll have. And then I'll get uh, a hill power tech, possibly. Something along those lines. Let's keep on trading for food. Desperately or not so desperately. Let's see how this plays out. I am getting smothered. Which is exactly why I wanted to head south, but unfortunately that's not that much of an option either because then I'll get cut off to the north. Of course I win the contest because of power in grasslands. Dairy farming, two food per grassland, yes please. Researching flag text is tempting, but no. I have so many grassland tiles, uh, 22. So that's 40 full food right here, right now as a neat little bonus. In fact, I don't think I even need that much. Unless I want to build a city someplace, which I very well could. Well, first of all, let's get some power in hills, so I win contests, so I break ties. Let's get those two hills. The grasslands over here. Oh, the grasslands over there. Obviously, the grasslands here and there. And what? The forest tile? Or maybe this forest tile. I have three tiles here, so I should break a tie if no power is acquired, if no additional power is acquired. Might as well. I don't think I want to redeem that little food bonus quite yet. I will flag more grassland tiles before I do that. In fact, at this stage, I might start saving up my wealth, because 50 food plus the bonus is going to be plenty, and instead I think I'll... Uh, 
just opt for an army. Now, if I get wealth waste reduction, I'll not have enough for an army next turn. However, if I just wait, I will. All right, in that case, I will wait. And at this point, I have to answer a very important question. Who do I want to harass? I presumably just want to head northwest and get all those hills. Seems to answer my question. I want to harass the djinn? The djinn! I did remember. Irrigation? Uh, irritation? Build a city on hills for a hill yield tech? Hill yeah! All irrigation, a bit of food for those few river tiles that I do have. Not worth it. However, the aqueduct, the aqueduct is worth it. I think I'll take this over the holy city, which I'm not going to proc. I'm going to build so many cities everywhere that it's just um, not going to be viable. I'll build them densely. I'll just pack them. We are in China. Population density is going to be high. Oh yeah, and I'll deploy an army soon enough. Don't you worry about that. Well, first of all, I might as well build that city over there. At which point I'll get what? A hill yield tech? Might as well get uh, food out of it. Do I want food? Because wealth sounds quite tantalizing, but on the other hand... No, food techs are more expensive, and I will get quite a few of those hill tiles soon enough. So, even though it's not much quite yet, let's get food. Yes, food yields. You know, I can't really get any... Ugh. Let's redo this. I'm getting the aqueduct instead of the holy city. I might as well get hill flag tags. I'm not getting them from any other source, am I? So might as well two of them to make flagging these little hills cheaper. Getting this food off of hills. Flagging this hill. Do I have power in hills? I do. Do they have power in hills? They do. And they have more tiles surrounding, so they will win the tie. I have no power in forests whatsoever. If I flag another forest, I will get uh, forest flag decks. So let's flag this. And now flagging forests has become cheaper. I could therefore try to take both of these. I will not get both, but I might as well give it a go. Although I wanted to deploy that army, didn't I? Well, might as well take this opportunity and move it. Oh, I don't know, right here. I could have an easier time say getting my stuff well getting my flags resolved in my favor due to power emanated by the army but i think i'd rather emanate some power over here and possibly take over eventually so let's pump power the tiniest tiniest of bits oh hold on they have the defensive bonus the odds of taking over a hill tile are slim to none but i can still try and I think I will. Hold on, I could save enough to get another army. We'll see. I know I still haven't redeemed that food bonus. But uh, all in due time. And I will presumably spend that on additional cities. Maybe I should have spent that on cities already. Conquer a hill space. That is quite, quite difficult. Own three cities on grasslands for grassland power tech. That... Makes perfect logical sense. I have so many grassland tiles, I do need to protect them. Desperately. Although I would prefer to get some grassland power techs before I actually get this. Not a problem, I guess. Oh dear, I am getting cut off by the djinn. From those additional hill tiles. Three points of power, how dare they. Unacceptable. Next turn, I will have enough wealth 
to be able to deploy another army. Flag this forest. And what do I do? Do I just build another city someplace? I could, and I'll then get another point of power in grasslands, which wouldn't be half bad, but I'm not so sure about this. Oh, you know, I could just grow this city. That solves my problems, doesn't it? That really neatly solves my problems. I could also claim this and grow more cities in a single turn. Hmm. That has distinct benefits. I get more wealth. I get more science every passing turn. These emanate more power, which uh, prevents my foes neatly from messing with me. I can and will deploy some additional cities further down the line. But for now, let's redeem this. Grow this city. And, uh, and this one. That leaves me with a mere seven food. I might as well try to... Fine, I have plenty of power here, so might as well try to flag this. It's pretty neat, as far as I can tell. It's pretty neat indeed. Next turn I will have 35 science, which I may spend on... Oh dear, I would prefer some wealth from... Grasslands, in which case... In which case, I can forego the second army. But the whole point of getting all that wealth is getting another army, so let's not, for now. Let's get, say, science for grasslands. There'll be plenty of science out of those grasslands. Which will, of course, be glorious. I do need to keep in mind that uh, you don't win this game by contest, by conquest at least most of the time. It is a contest, rather. Well, you have to get those precious points on your side. Okay, I win this contest and this one. Break both the ties. With uh, my wondrous powers. Fabulous, not so secret powers. The power of text. All river yield text to have movement cast across rivers. So through here. All. A free forest flag. Fine, I'll take the free forest flag. It's not necessarily worth it for me to try and flag these things because they'll presumably get contested, but if I get the flag for free, I might as well. Possibly. Fine, more science out of grasslands, please, because I have also many grassland tiles. I would certainly prefer to be able to do something about this dreadful situations with the djinn blocking me. Oh, from both river and hill tiles over there. I guess I could attack quite effectively if I am to focus my attack on the river tile. Fancy that. Well, let's deploy the second army first. <laughs> and the first army second. Alright, move these guys here and those guys there. Pumping power up to two is impossible because I have four units of wealth. It's just not gonna happen. However, I am getting there, if slowly. Slowly, perhaps, but surely. I could build a new city, a city in this here forest. Or, you know, I could grow, grow my old one. Uh, yeah, I can grow it one, or I can get two citizens. Let's get two citizens instead. Or, you know, I could get a city here. And see, though, that makes significantly more sense, doesn't it? Even though I lose grassland tiles to this, but it does make sense. I want to emanate as much power in as many places as humanly possible. All you know, I could get this and that and that. Because if I get this, I cannot get that or that. So this still makes sense. This, that, and that. Yes. Fine, I'm getting the city right here in the forest. Protecting the grasslands. Emanating power. Power overwhelming. Anything else I can do? Oh, and not building a city on grasslands is also smart because it means I don't proc, proc camouflage and not procking camouflage means that I can get an initial point of power in grasslands and uh, then I'll get a third point of power in grasslands for free out of the opportunity when I build the next city on grasslands. Inevitably, eventually. This gets contested. Do I break the tie? Because I do have power there, but I have fewer tiles of... No, I have power there on red, so... Key. Do not have power, though. 
free wealth off of every single hill or conquer a river space for resources. I think I would like to redeem the coupon right here, right now. It's not that much wealth, but it's better than nothing. Okay, I don't want to redeem it right here, right now. Maybe next turn. And if I redeem it next turn, as far as I can tell, I should be able to get a third army. I'm not emanating enough power over there to conquer. However, I am close. Mind-blowingly enough. However, I do want more wealth, don't I? And the easiest way to do that is to just get more wealth off of grasslands. Yes! In which case, I'll get 110 wealth the very next turn. Which is plenty. Plenty indeed. I did not get power in grasslands, so I do not want to build another city. Instead, let's grow the ones I already have. And by ones I already have, I mean let's grow this one to size 4. A whopping size 4. Look at all the power I'm emanating in the region. This will be very difficult to conquer. Although, of course, it doesn't really help with uh, my own conquest, because cities only emanate power defensively, which makes perfect logical sense. But that boost to my wealth is going to help me deploy additional armies, those additional armies will help me conquer here. Had I pumped power, I could have conquered here reasonably easily. And if a city gets erected in, somewhere in this region, I'm going to have a rough time dealing with that. We shall see, though. We shall ultimately see. The forest encampment is tempting because the calendar will be difficult to proc. Doubling the knowledge yield? How on earth can I do that? I would have to conquer plenty of tiles, which I guess I might as well attempt from this point on. Right, let's get that third army. Where do I deploy it? Over here? Might as well. As good of a spot as any as far as I can tell. It's far away from the enemy empire, it is putting additional pressure on the enemy, and I might as well pump my power to a whopping two. Next to nothing, but... Uh, but more than nothing nonetheless. Fine, a second point of power, and the third one will be acquired by building a city right here. Oh, and by the way, since I still have enough, I might as well build yet another city. Two more citizens! Instead of, you know, just growing a city, which would just give me one. Right now, I have a whopping total of 16 citizens, and they give me two science each and one wealth each. Of course, they do consume all of my precious food, but, uh, as they say, them's the brakes. That's absolutely fine by me. Now let's get more out of my precious little mountains. How about more wealth? I could get more science, but uh, no, let's get more wealth for now, and next turn I'll get even more wealth out of them, won't I? <laughs> yes. I'm rich as Cressus. I'm going to build up that wealth, I'm going to pump that power, and I'm going to conquer to the west. How are my victory points? Not that great. I am building up towards the population, and I will not redeem this until I need the wealth, because it goes to waste. That's why I'm not redeeming it. Not necessarily because I'm so greedy that I want all these extra hills, though that wouldn't hurt, but because I don't want this to just go to waste. I have basically nothing to spend this on at this point. Although, I could hypothetically use it to pump power, but I don't think I even need more power at this particular stage. So, let's leave well enough alone. I do need to increase my populations, get the armies and fleets, and at that point I guess I can just save up wealth and be done with it. That's it, so say six more armies, possible fleets, I don't really have a coastal city. And at this rate no one will get one, at least, well, no one will get one over here. Not because of this little bit of sea. So these guys might, might get some fleets, possibly, but I'll have to resort to getting armies exclusively. So six more armies for me. And uh, a bit more of the population, namely double. And that's about it. At that point I can just save 300 wealth and win. That's the general bird's eye view of the plan, as I've outlined early enough. Oh look, the key over here are beginning to force my hand. Thankfully my city is emanating enough power that they'll be basically powerless to stop me. Right? I am threatening over there. Am I threatened anyone? No, thank goodness I'm not. Philosophy, so double your food yield. That's next to impossible, isn't it? 
Well, I could get more food out of the grasslands, as unlikely as that is. I do need a bit more science, but uh, it can be done. All spinning wool, having the movement cost through hills, just by getting all the hill yield decks. Hill yeah! Let's do that. First of all, wealth off of hills. Basically always a good idea. Although... You will excuse me, but actually at this point, acquiring power than hills might just push me over the edge. Whereas getting 8 extra wealth will not. No, let's actually swerve over here, get more power than hills early on. It's uh, an investment. It is... And the, the earlier on you make this sort of investment, the better the chances that the opponents don't have them. Especially since uh, politics become basically prohibitively expensive further down the line, but then again, by that point you have nothing else to spend knowledge on, so you might as well. I am threatening over here, so I might as well pump my power fully. And just conquer. Just go ahead and conquer that bit of territory. These guys do not threaten me. And just to make sure that they will not threaten me at all, I might as well grow my cities. To have even more power in the region. I think I'm doing fine. And of course, yeah, let's pump power, see what happens next turn. I should be able to easily capture this territory. Now, I could hypothetically pump power less, but uh, at that point, it becomes questionable, really. All, how many towns do I have? Eight, and this is three, so that's three times eight, plus the wealth I have now. That's not enough to get another army, unfortunately. Which is highly unfortunate. I could redeem this, because otherwise I'll possibly lose the next opportunity, unless I want to replace the calendar. Which I presumably will, I think I will do that. Increasing knowledge yields is going to be somewhat difficult. I can't get more knowledge out of grassland, so I would have to get it say off of hills. I'll replace the calendar next time, it's fine. I'll hang on to that opportunity that grants me more wealth for hills. I know that just pumping power here seems fairly questionable, but... Uh, ah! A city is erected though, emanates to power. It wasn't... Uh, no, it, it was quite, quite needed. And I threaten additional tiles by doing that. As you can see, I am not threatened anywhere. Thank goodness. I can get crossbows, so more hill power. This is going to become quite precious quite soon. And I have an easy time building cities, so I might as well. Although, for now, that's going to be impossible because there are certain requirements you have to fulfill to be able to build a city in a given place. You have to be one space away from a border and one space away from a city of your own. However, that means that this particular spot is perfectly well suited to house a city of mine. Hmm. So I might as well get one more city. Getting another is going to be a different sort of story entirely. But I will get at least one. I could get a city over there. It won't make that much of a difference. Let's see. What else can I get? I think yields from mountains are the way to go. I could hypothetically just uh, save up science and get uh, power in hills next turn. You know, that's not the worst of ideas either. Although, getting more wealth isn't half bad because as you get more wealth, you can spend it on power, you pump that power, and the conquest is the result. Ninety-three... Can't quite redeem this to get another army yet, can I? I would love to redeem that opportunity. For which I would have to spend 80, so I can't even do it this turn. So never you mind. Let's also threaten all around with all of my power. Let's throw my weight. And let's uh, build a city right here. That seems like a reasonably good spot for it. I just need to build one more. At which point, as I have just mentioned, I will get more power in hills. However, I'll save to get the third point of power for mm, knowledge. And then I'll get the fourth one from the opportunity. 
which should really make conquering hill tiles relatively painless. Still fairly painful, but relatively painless nonetheless. Okay, can I actually get this? There are two armies. Of course I can. Of course I can. Look at the amount of power I have over here. Kick them out and now I'm threatening over there. I'm threatening to take over a city of theirs. And they can't really easily defend. They can place at most two units over there. And if they do, one of them is going to get stranded and destroyed. After I take that over. Oh. Anus Mirabilis. Uh... Well, what do I want? Do I want to lose any one of these opportunities? This allows me to... Oh, goodness, to get five more wealth per every single citizen. Oh, that's agonizing, because I could complete these, but then I would have to give up on one of these. Which would I want to give up on? Quite frankly, probably the stone cutting. Because that's just... Uh... A temporary burst in resources, where these are permanent upgrades. One more point of power? I do want that. What about the hill yield text? Those are also pretty awesome. But that's not gonna happen. Is it? Because I don't have enough knowledge to proc both of these on the same time. Actually, no, I just need another city, a third city on a hill. To be able to practice that opportunity. Whereas I will be spending science this particular turn on, uh, on other hill power tech. So I might as well replace stone cutting. Which, by the way, I can redeem. And I could hypothetically replace crossbows. Think about this. I can claim stone cutting and get the yield techs to proc Anus Mirabilis, which means that I get five wealth out of every single citizen, not city, citizen, mind you, which is mind-blowing, considering the number of citizens I already have, which is 20. Am I reading this right? One per citizen, right? Not just per city. I have to check this one out, because if that's what's going on, then that's going to be a mind-blowing boost, and I am willing to... I am willing to ignore a number of things. Yield 88. All right. Check this out. I'm taking Annus Mirabilis, which for once I can complete. And I'm taking it instead of Logos Help Me Crossbows. Because I can't place that city quite yet. I'm getting those yield techs. Which gives me spinning wool. I'm proccing this with stone cutting, which gives me Annus Mirabilis, which means... It's a one-time resource boost, isn't it? It's five wealth per citizen, just as it says. It doesn't say per turn. It's not income. It's just a one-time opportunity. A surge of cash. I don't need it that desperately. Although, I could take it instead of stone cutting and then proc it. But if I take it instead of stone cutting, I'm going to have a much rougher time actually procking it. So let's reject both of those opportunities and stick with what I have, I guess. Or can I possibly... I could hypothetically get all the yield techs as I get that third city. Although, when would that happen? I have to conquer quite a bit. Even if I conquer these tiles. Uh, which... Sort of tower is going to be the closest to the enemy border that I can still build a city on. Not a single one of these. Fine, let's reject both of these. <sighs> Reluctantly. With great, great reluctance. And let's get even more power in mountains. Logos, help me. I have three points of power in mountains. I am pushing hard over there. Do I want three power and also, um, let's see, how much power do they have over there? The Jin have three points of power over there, whereas I am pushing quite a lot fine. I am reducing power waste, which leaves me with four units of wealth, which is fine. Let's claim stone cutting now and pump power a bit more to retain five points. This is great. Because I can both reduce power waste and uh, continue to pump power, which once again... Almost always sounds like a questionable idea. You pump that power... You're kinda going all in. Fine, let's bolster our 
defense is right here because this is where we need them and thankfully this is where we have them look at our power look at our power situation we're fine and we are going to stay fine once again i know pumping power possibly bad yeah. will manage should i get some yield tax why not you do get those every single passing turn might as well fine let's get some science of, out of every single forest tile that we have of which i have five but five signs every single turn not that bad it's free well it's not quite free you do have to pay the upfront price of getting that tech but you know what i mean will this actually put some pressure on me will i be threatened over here to the south will i have to grow my cities we shall see no they moved it to attack but will they threaten me will they threaten me they won't I did get a tile over there, but uh, I did not conquer the city. Alas, alas, they get a defensive bonus from having an army in the city, presumably. Terracotta on most of the river, or conquer a grassland space for 30 food. I could conquer a grassland space. I do have power in grasslands already. I don't think I'm going to have most of the river tiles. I could try <laughs> for more wealth. Let's try to go for the market town. Can't quite build a city there yet. I see the Jin have 13 points of power though. 10 from units, 1 from tech, 2 from cities. Oh, I'm sorry, they don't have a defensive bonus in the city. That's, that just means that there's, a, uh, there's an army in the city. Fine, let's get better yields out of every single mountain tile. I don't have that many of them. I'm <laughs> mere 10. But it is better than nothing, and you get that every single turn. Also, that redeems an opportunity for me. Which gives me a spot for next turn. And even if I fully continue to pump my power, I will have enough. Ne well, I won't quite have enough for another army, will I? Unless I kind of unpump my power. You know, I could also get a further reduction in power waste, which wouldn't be half bad now, would it? Yeah, but then I won't be able to get that army next turn. No, let's actually get another army next turn. That sounds like a reasonably good idea, doesn't it? Then for and five eight, so that's uh, whopping total of uh, fifty-two, and that sounds like a good idea. Let's grow these two cities. I get even more income. It's all fine. I'm keeping the pressure on in a reasonable fashion and of course factions are just torn asunder they have to defend from basically every single direction which is great because that means they're not focusing exclusively on me and the Jin lose territory over here don't they both of these tiles are now mine and I'm threatening like all hell goldsmith is an interesting proposition all all for steel takes to half movement cast across forests not that many forests out there they're interspersed I can just avoid them Let's uh, get and proc the goldsmith immediately. I'll just keep on getting that precious gold every single passing turn. If I reduce waste, I'll stay at uh, three points of power. All I could pump. And if I pump, I'm going to get all the way up to six. Now, of course, if I don't proc a goldsmith, I can get another army this turn. But I stay with unredeemed opportunities. And unredeemed opportunities are basically nothing but trouble. As far as I'm concerned. Because then you don't, don't get additional opportunities can be quite, quite lucrative <laughs> okay here's the problem uh, they they have quite a few angles to defend from and I don't think they'll be able to defend from all of them so I guess what I ought to do is try to diversify and attack from as many places as they possibly can now granted I will not be able to take all of this because I've reduced power waste but I think all in all, it is a smart choice on my part. To not reduce power waste would uh, ultimately come back to bite me in the future. If you can make this sort of investment, make it and make it as early on as possible. Otherwise, you're just sinking resources into something that you don't have to sink them to. I could also get additional food, but... 
I don't want to wait until next turn to just get things. If I get food off of rivers right here, right now, how much will I have in terms of science next turn? Well, let's see. Next turn I ought to have, ignoring waste for the time being, 171. And I need 100. So... Uh, will this be enough? 106. Yes, it will, because we also have to account for waste. So I will have enough to get more food out of grasslands. Glorious, marvelous, excellent. Oh, and I can build a new city on a hill. Fancy that, which will give me another hill power attack. Which means that I didn't have to proc that opportunity, did I? What was that opportunity? Goldsmith to get another army. Now I still feel pretty good about this decision. I think I'm going to stick with it. No regrets. I will be getting more gold every single passing turn. I'm going to be fine. Of course, I'm playing a faction that's easy, so obviously I'm going to be fine. But then again, I do have to... I do want to beat this with every single faction, so might as well. I get nothing. I don't lose anything, but I get absolutely nothing. And I even get threatened. But I took that temporary hit in order to eventually, eventually... Grow more powerful. To be more efficient in spending my resources. All grass and deal takes to have movement cost across grasslands. All mathematics. Uh, no. No, no, no. We are procking this. I wanted to proc this anyway. Well, I, I wanted to get this anyway, which procs the opportunity. And I have so many grassland tiles that uh, being able to move, move across them on the cheap is a perfectly sensible proposition. They're overwhelming me with the power over the... Should I move another army over there? How much power do they have over there? The Jin have uh, 18 power. I can conquer over here, but I might just lose that river tile. Is that worth it? I'm tempted to say I just like to see them try. Because they, they lose one tile. Uh, sorry, they gain one tile, but they lose two. I think that's a reasonable trade. And to further... Make my point clear, I'm going to bolster this city. To further entrench myself. Come on. Come on, go away, Tooltip. Thank you. Let's also grow... Oh, I don't know, this one to emanate more power to the south. I want to stay safe. Now, if they do take it, I'm okay with that. Because that means that they're not moving away over here to the south to defend. If they move to the south, then they're not taking this. Unless they say deploy another army and they somehow manage to outmaneuver me. I sincerely doubt that, but hey. Next turn I'll have enough to deploy yet another army, even if I spend 100% of my wealth right here, right now, on pumping power. Which I am. I am going to do that. Once again, my objective over here is hypothetically to just grow cities and get additional armies. But uh, I might as well conquer a bit. It gives me the resources needed to do that. Do I win here? I do win a single tile, I threaten all the tiles over there. I'm just fine. I could get one power for two turns, or I could try to take hard one piece. Not happening. Not happening. Let's recruit that initial... Oh, you know, I could just pump power instead. But no, I'll get an initial army since that is the victory condition. That's literally the victory condition, so might as well go for that. I know I'm reducing my power. I know that sucks. But it is the right thing to do. Especially since that initial army radiates all the power you have. So even if it's reduced power, it's one more army. And you'll get to pump that power later with all those armies. Including the additional one. So don't worry, I think it's the right choice. Alright, additional yields perhaps? What sort of additional yields do I want? I could save up for additional power attacks, hypothetically. That's not particularly worth it. What? Additional power in hills? That's ludicrous. And I would have to trade gold for that, so let's not. I could get more stuff out of all those rivers. I have more of them than I do have forests. It's relatively cheap to get. Fine, let's get, first of all, as much wealth as I can. Then some science over here. And even more wealth, this time out of planes. So I am getting quite a lot. And whether I spend this single unit of wealth or not is basically irrelevant. 
Also, to make my point even more clear that I'm now... Wait, I am threatened. I do feel a bit threatened, yes. Well, if I have to lose that tile, I'll lose that tile. I am not moving. I will just fortify over here, and if I lose the single grassland tile, so be it. I am much more invested in attacking over here against the djinn than I am in defending against the... What are you people called? Ah, uh, these are the Wu, aren't they? So these are the Chu. These people are the Wu. These are uh, the Chu, the traditional Chu. How dare you? Your, your traditions upset me. Oh, and by the way, let's proc slingers. Yeah, to make my point even clearer, to have a decent bit of additional power so that I may actually conquer, despite the fact that I have just gotten yet another army. And slingers last two turns, so I can pump power next turn and uh, once again make my point very loud and very clear. Have an easy time conquering with the additional army. Instead of without it, one tile will be acquired, won't it? No, nothing will get acquired and I'll get threatened. I have also lost a single grassland tile and I'm getting threatened on another one. However, I am threatening over here to the south and to the north. I'm threatening two cities all at once. I have to pick one of them. Pikemen or the Golden Age? The Golden Age is not going to happen. Let's just resign ourselves to this. Let's proc pikemen. And let's uh, pump power. As much as power can be pumped. What do I want? Do I want science? Is that what I want out of life? Because food is pretty awesome. It is. I'll grant you that much. But all the same. Out of that science, I can get politics. But then again, out of that food, I can possibly get bigger cities. Fine, let's get food out of forests and a tiny bit of science out of planes. Might as well. That science out of planes might have completely not been worth it, but uh, I'll we'll stick with that anyway. Can't really grow any of my cities, can't really build any additional cities, I'm kind of stuck. Okay, I'm stuck piling food then. I'm not reducing the waste because I am... You know, that, that's just 25, it's not the worst of ideas, and I'll stay at 9 power anyway. Fine, let's reduce food waste the tiniest of bits. Conquer a grassland space. That might not happen anytime soon. But hey, I'm threatening this city over here. I could have put more units there. And I'm threatening to the south. They move to the south, which means that I'll get the city, won't I? I'll get the city to the north. Oh, and I do get these two tiles? Yes, indeed we do. That city is now mine. So to plowshares, all olive oil own most of the hills. I would love to. And I am geared up for it. I absolutely am. I did get all the power attacks. I'm not sure if I can manage. But I'll try. I have to watch out over here to the south. Now, thankfully, my cities are pretty robust. Pretty big. Pretty powerful. But once again, I have to watch out. I have to be careful. I have to remain cautious. Now, seriously, what do I want? A reduction to science waste might be in order. That's not such a huge reduction. Yeah, but it only costs 15. And let's uh, stop this madness. Let's stop pumping power that much. Although let's pump it a bit more. Uh, how much do I want to have left? Enough to get another army, I think. Do I want 10 points of power? How much power do my opponents have anyway? The Jin, 14 per so they have 7 on a single unit. 10 is basically overwhelming. It's just a mind-blowing amount of power. Do I position my units like this, or do I move them? I think this is fine. And I might as well bolster my cities right here, right now. To make sure they don't fall. Grow this city, desperately to size 2, to refortify. Especially since it's among the, uh, among the victory conditions, isn't it? And I just need one more citizen to get those three victory points. Whereas all the other factions are miles away. Now, even if my conquest remains largely or almost entirely unsuccessful, in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't matter. 
Mm, I could get more science, although at a high cost. But then again, every single turn. Fine, let's get it. Every single turn. Once again, even if my conquest is unsuccessful, it doesn't matter because my job is to grow the cities, get more armies and save up wealth. That's it. That's how I'm going to win. So all of this is superficial stuff. Unnecessary. That's just a bonus. That's just the cherry on top, the icing on the cake and so on. All plane yield text to half movement cost across basically non-existent planes. All legendary general threaten 10 spaces on the map all at the same time to get any power tech. Ambitious. I like it. Unlikely to happen, but I like it anyway. Fine. Let's move these guys here. Those guys there. Those guys over here. And I presumably should get another army and threaten in another place entirely. I am just destroying the djinn. Putting the djinn back in the bottle. Djinn with catatonic. Alright, I might as well get more science out of every single one of my citizens. What else could I get? Power takes power in grassland, something like that. I should presumably get power in some place. Yeah, some place I care about, like, you know, cities. Since uh, it seems like what I want to do right now is just uh, burn them to the ground. So I might as well do that, yes. Two points of power in cities, please. Or as I sometimes like to call it, siege tech. So it's not to let the food go to waste. No, 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 no. Let's not let it go to waste. Let's grow this city by one. Giving me three victory points. Neatly, nicely, immediately. And uh, well, let's grow this one as well. Just to secure even more power in the region. Look at all that power. Yes, let the power flow through you, my troops. Let it flow. Look at that. I have deployed five different armies. They are going to radiate plenty of power in the region. Oh, that city got threatened and that city got conquered, didn't it? It's mine now. And I am threatening all over. I have proc legendary general, which gives me an arbitrary power attack. What do I want to pick? Uh, Epic March or the Year of Plenty? With all the power that I have, I might as well not be threatened. And that would help me win, wouldn't it? Now, I could hypothetically just strive to get more power. Okay, I'll take the Yield of Plenty. Might as well. What sort of power tech do I want to get? I can get literally anything. So let's get more power in hills. Logos, help me. Five points of power in hills. Despite the defensive bonus, I am just going through them like a swarm of locusts, like an unstoppable falls. Slaughtering, conquering everything. It's beautiful. All right, let's put these guys right uh, here. I can deploy another army. Though I can pump my power. I can also save up for next turn. Let's save up just enough to be able to deploy another army next turn. I know that I'll drop to a mere nine points of power, but uh, I think I'll be fine. I think that's enough. Am I conquering any cities right here, right now? Let's see, how much power do I need to put into conquering this? Not that much, really. Not that much. I have uh, nine power right now. If I, uh, if I uh, increase power to nine, that's going to be 11, because that's two from tax. Plus what I have. Otherwise, mm, let's get science out of my citizens. And soon enough, actually, if I wait, can I get money out of citizens? Yes, the very next turn. So I'll stockpile my science. Oh, you know, I could reduce the science waste a bit. Is it worth 30 wealth? Because then I won't be able to deploy the next army. Fine, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. Let's instead grow this city. To emanate more power defensively over here in the region. And let's grow this one because... Uh, I guess the army of the key is poised to strike, but unfortunately they can't threaten. Unfortunately for them, they can't threaten because they're just too weak and too pathetic to threaten my borders. 
I guess I'm going to waste one of these opportunities, but that's okay. I'm not even sure which. What? Conquering most of the hills? That's a tasty little morsel. That would be a feather in my cap, so to speak. I would love that. Look at all the tiles I'm conquering. Well, the people all around are conquering, but uh, how many tiles will I get in a single turn? Oh, I proc Market Town, so I will not lose an opportunity. And I could take Brief Respite to go with the Year of Plenty. Am I threatened? I am actually threatened. Also, I have bisected the Jin territory. So I don't feel that threatened, really. I can also take Ultras to receive a brief boost in power instead of the brief respite which just offers me some money. As much as I love the idea of getting more money, let's not. Instead, I will march my forces over here to defend. You go over here and attack, and you go over there and make sure we don't lose territory over here. I would very much prefer to maintain the status quo. Oh, and by the way, you guys should move over here to threaten as much as you possibly can all at once. You know, aside from just taking this city for us. What do I want? Ah, yes, I want wealth out of every single one of my citizens, of which I have 37 at this particular juncture. I also want to proc ultras to be able to have even more power to just emanate it all around. I need three more armies and a bit of wealth. That's it. That's all I need. And if I get all those hills, I'll get more food out of them. And by the way, since I am getting so much... So much wealth out of every single one of my citizens, namely two units of wealth every single turn outside, um, aside from all the science I'm getting from them, I might as well grow my cities, which is so cheap, in order to get even more money. To be on the safe side, I should grow this city. However, I think these three armies posed over the, just posted over the are going to do just fine defensively. So let's instead get a new city, a completely new city right here. And let's fortify, well now I can fortify an arbitrary one. Fine, fine, let's make this, oh, I'm going to lose territory over here. Now that is highly unfortunate, I'm going to lose a forest. Well, that is a shame indeed, but then again, I'll live. The Chew will take my forest tile. They will chew through my forest tile. And I'll just accept that loss. I don't have power in forests. I have power in grasslands. And in hills. Oh look, they swooped in over here to defend. Alas, alas, alas. Of course I lose this. But what do I gain? I gain the city. This territory... Oh, it's not no man's land. There's another city over there. And of course... I can just uh, surround and destroy the Jin over here and then proceed to the north to eliminate an empire, a real feat. Barracks, each power costs one less. And of course I get the reduction of power. Oh, you know, camel riders, no. The barracks are the way to go, trust me. This is my favorite opportunity. Look at this, a reduction and pumping power becomes even cheaper. So I could hypothetically get all the way back to nine despite this enormous expenditure I have made just now. Let's see now. I have an army right here. Yeah, I guess I might as well... Um, I might as well save up enough to have for another army next turn. So that's a mere eight points of power. I'll do fine with that. And I don't think I should stay within the borders of this city. I think I should instead try to help my armies over here. You know, I need to have an easier time conquering. These two armies will do just fine conquering uh, the northwestern corner, but I want to be able to deal with this. Now, I know I... C you can't really surround it by having an army here and there. They need to emanate power to a single tile together for that to work from the point of view of the game's mechanics. Another power tech? No, let's get more science out of every single one of, one of my citizens. That'll give me plenty next turn. Saving up enough. And which city do I want to grow? I guess I want to grow this one. The one over here for 28. And that's gonna be it. 
Which, once again, is perfectly fine. I still do not have the yield of plenty. Am I threatened anywhere? Yes, I am, actually. Oh, this is unbelievable. I should have gone this city. Hold on, hold on. I'm undoing this. Barracks. Proc this. Save enough to have for another one. I can't actually grow this, my goodness. Well, do I want to stop my conquest and uh, refocus my energies? I could. Fine, I'll send a single army over here to defend. It ought to be enough to dissuade those would-be attackers. Well, you know, those attackers. Can't get more power in grass stands because I already have plenty. Oh, you know, I could just get more power in cities. That would make my cities emanate even more power, won't it? Fine, let's get even more power in cities. Grow this one. And that one. And that's about it. That's all she wrote. That's all I'm going to do in this particular turn. Swooping in here to defend a single army it seems like a reasonable way to handle matters. Will that be enough, though? Yes, it will. I do have enough power on that single army to defend against two. How do I do over here? I think I'll get basically everything that I have threatened. And I begin to threaten myself. Also, I have the most hills, so I now get more food out of every single hill tile. Epic power, eliminate an empire to get any tech whatsoever. All sewer system. 50% off of city yield decks. I am so close to getting all the city yield Texas is becoming basically irrelevant, but I think I should just just for additional style I should possibly aim for the epic poem. Oh, I am getting threatened over here. That is unfortunate. Let me reposition my army then. Oh, and look, a fleet has been deployed over there. That's adorable. It really is pretty neat. I could have a ticky pump power, but I think it is significantly smarter to just deploy a national army, say, right there. Can you deploy an uh, army to a city that's under siege? Yes, you can. And just to be on the absolute safest of safe sides, I am absolutely on the safest of safe sides, I'm going to do just fine. You know, if I really want to be on the safest of safe sides, I presumably should just pincer them, destroy the city and be done with it and then head to the northwest instead of dividing my forces up and trying to conquer both parts of the empire all at once. That's kinda silly. Let's get more science out of my citizens now. And what am I doing with the, the very few left units of wealth I have? Let's pump power might as well this, at this stage. Grow this city. And that one. Even more citizens, even more wealth, even more science, every single turn. Gimme. Alright, my power goes down to six, but it's still enough to defend, isn't it? Is it not it? They move over here, I manage to defend. They manage to defend over here, the Chu, I mean. The Jin are in a pickle, which they will not extricate themselves out of. A forest power tech. That's cute, I guess. I would have to build another city on a forest, or at least own one. So conquer one. Power techs would give me another victory point, which is kinda silly. I could just win by capturing more cities and getting more. There are so many ways in which I can win right now. I could get the wealth and the power techs, that's two. And I need two more. Space on the map are not gonna happen. Presumably just armies and fleets. Could be captured cities. I am busy capturing cities, so I could kind of win on that. Which of these matters? Reduce food waste to trade more efficiently for food. I don't want to trade for food. I don't need food that much. I have plenty. I have plenty to spell. I mean, yeah, I like growing my cities, but come on now. What do I get? Power in grasslands? All oh, perhaps power in cities. Oh, yes. Which, due to the fact that I have secured 12 power technologies, means that I get a victory point out of that. Now I just need, say, two more armies, all that bit of conquest to go my way. 
and I will have won just like that. Let's save, oh, I don't know, 10% of my wealth to get yet another army next turn, because as I mentioned, that's basically a victory condition for me at this point. And let the conquest continue. Oh, right, of course, I'm threatened over here by, who are you? The Zhou. Tough. Should I actually defend? You know, it basically doesn't cost me anything. So yeah, I guess. Might as well defend. Why not? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's also grow the city to help with the defense. Please. Let's be the tiniest of bits. Reasonable. All right, let's try to destroy the Jinn. I have pinceled them, I have threatening the city with three separate armies. They have two. They don't have the resources, they basically don't have anything. They've positioned the armies, but to no avail. The armies will get destroyed, the city will get taken over. There we go, two armies destroyed, a city conquered. Burning pitch, useless. Horse archers or catastrophe. Catastrophe is not gonna happen. I'm not going to get threatened from too many angles. Trust me on this one. It's, it, it's just, they don't have enough power to threaten me that much. Horse archers, however, I will take. Oh, look, the two have three victory points. Is it because of the population? It's because of the population. Obviously, that's almost always the first thing people get. I could hypothetically flag here. I think I will. I'm also threatening the... Who are you people? Oh, sorry, the Zhou. Of course. But uh, I am kind of busy, you know, obliterating uh, the Jin. So, if you don't mind, actually, you know, I could deploy a single army over here to deal with them. Also, I want to be able to defend here against the key. Yes, a single army should do. Oh, I'm threatening over here against the... The Chu. This out the Wu. I've memorized these guys quite quickly. What is it with the Chinese and me? More power over there. Party over here. More power over here. Who do I want to mess with the most? Fine, let's actually move this army over here for defensive purposes. Oh, I'm sorry. I can afford yet another army. Where do I position that one? Possibly over here to help with the conquest over here. Yes, another army deployed. Pump power. I'm at six, that's fine. I don't have that much in terms of science, even though I have 240. But uh, I'm mostly going to be using it on horse archers, right here, right now. I had just enough wealth. I stay at six, that's okay though, that's okay. Horse archers uh, will remain useful for quite a while. Let's flag all of this. And what, get more power in the region to secure this more easily? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I need to capture one more city or recruit one more army fleet. And that'll be all she wrote. Now, if I could win by securing more tiles, by getting the Great Lighthouse, that would be glorious. But that doesn't really happen, though, does it? Okay, fine. They get one of the tiles. But uh, I get what? Do I get this? No, I don't. But I do get threatened by the Zhou. Mercenaries, so uh, three power for a single turn. Vengeance is not gonna happen because I'm not going to lose those spaces. I understand that I'm threatened game, but I'm going to be just fine. You chill out over there, please. Move on over here. Move on over there, hands in the air. Pump the power. Grow the city. Get more power out of the cities by getting more power in cities. Oh, you know, I could get power in grasslands, that would help too. Oh, 
Yeah, power and cities won't be that helpful now, will it? I might as well get more power and grasslands right here, right now. Fine. I'm getting more power and grasslands. I am pumping power. Proking mercenaries. So I should get to 13 points of power. I should be able to fend them off. But I do desperately want to conquer the Jin. But I am so close to winning through other means. Oh, woe is me. Come on, I didn't want to win that quickly. I want to win in another way. Oh, if I get more power, I win. Well, if I get more power than wealth, which might not happen at the same time. But if I conquer one more city, I also win. I can win through overkill, essentially, in terms of points. Fine. Let's uh, get the temple complex as a possible source of points, I guess, possibly. Oh, come on now, the Jin are mine. You get your filthy hands off of them. I want to conquer them. Let's see. I'm not really particularly threatened at this particular point. Yes, that's very particular of me, isn't it? Fine, let's position over here. Take on a defensive posture because I don't want to lose territory to the Zhou. I have the defensive bonus and everything, but uh, I just want to be sure. I know the Chu will now possibly threaten me, but uh, I'll live with that. And at 303 science, I still can't quite afford to get much of anything. Because of how much stuff in general I have. Now, if I keep on pumping power, I'm just going to win that way, won't I? Now, that is somewhat unfortunate. And somewhat wonderful at the same time. Fine, let's grow this city. And that's about it. I think that's how I win. I get my power. All the Actually, no, that's just two victory points. Oh, how delectable. I'll just be one victory point away from victory. So I'll be at six out of seven. Very well, then. The game will continue. For a brief bit more. Oh, they swoop in to defend. That's great, because I mostly want to deal with the Jin. Will I get threatened here? That's three armies. They presumably should put some pressure on me. Yes, I do get threatened. The cavalry's here. I think I'll take that instead of the Year of Plenty. You know, I could just get the Temple Complex. Ah, uh, uh, but I will not be able to retain 15 points of power. Oh, woe is me. I guess I'll have to win some other way. Very well then. Cavalry is here. Okay, I'm getting threatened by Zhou over here. Moving an army to deal with the Jin. As soon as this city falls, I win by conquering the city. Among other things. Let's desperately swoop in to defend over here. And over there, hands in the air. That's fine. My power gets pumped to 15. Where do I get that power? What do I... It doesn't really matter, now does it? I guess I'll take power in grasslands. I could take siege take, but no. Five points of power in grasslands, please. Thank you. And let's build, oh, I don't know, a brand spanking new city right here. To get even more citizens. And that's about it. I'm going to capture one more city. I did not recruit the national army. Which I guess is fair enough. I could hypothetically have 300 wealth. If I refuse to pump power. But let's not. Let's not. Let's just conquer the djinn and be glad with that. Oh, look, the Zhou swoop in over here to defend. It doesn't matter because I mostly just want to slay the, the Jin. Not deal with you, Zhou. I win here. Yo, Zhou, I've won. With a whopping total of nine victory points. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. And thus I have prevailed with an easy to play faction. The pyramids, so 32 uh, city population or more. The mausoleum, so five captured cities. An unusual feat. The statue of Zeus, so 15 power. And the temple of Artemis, so 12 power techs. In total, I got nine victory points, even though I just needed seven of them. 
that 15 points of power were unnecessary over here, but I still had them for a variety of reasons, mostly opportunities. The Chu, of course, had the pyramid, so 32 pop or more, that's three victory points, and the Zhou had a mere single point out of power techs. Single crown right there. The Qi, Wu, and Jin. Well, they're not really tied, are they? The Qi and the Wu are tied for fourth place, and the Jin are in sixth because I eliminated them. Not only do they have no victory points, they're gone. They have been wiped out. Either way, thanks all so much for watching, and you will see me elsewhere.